Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack Rojo. Hope you're doing really well. So today's video is going to be slightly different. Um, as you all may know, P3D V5.2 has just been released. And um, I'm going to show you, did I say V5.2 or V5.2? I meant V5.2 has just been released. And I thought, why not take the opportunity to show you guys how to update prepared 3D V5. Um, so if you're on P3D V5.1 and you're struggling and trying to figure out how to update to V5.2, then this is a video for you. Also, a um, really quick announcement. Um, I've already made this announcement on the community section of my channel, so check that out because I'm not going to go into full depth here. Practically, I'm just moving house at the moment, so video is going to be slightly delayed in between each one. But this week, I move out on... Um, well, I'll move out next week, so the time of videos are going up. i move a week after that. Um, so I'm going to absolutely bang out video film every single video I can possibly do this week because my new house won't have Wi-Fi for quite a while. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to upload things, which shouldn't be too much of an issue, but I'm going to try and backlog loads of content for you. Um, but yeah, that's that. Anyway, let's get into the video on how to update prepared 3D V5. Okay, so here we are on the P3D V5 website. Now, this is your main area of where you need everything to be downloaded. Um, so what you can do is type into your internet over here, Lockheed, Mar or Lockheed Prepared 3D over here. And then, oh, let's just head back to the normal page, shall we? Here we go. So um, if you go into P3D website, it comes up with this beautiful splash screen on the UI. And it says P3D V5 V2 out now. Come down here and press continue reading. And then over here on the continue reading bit, it gives you all of the information on what V5.2 gives you, um, what the differences are from P3D V5.1, and that's all listed here, as you can see. Um, now the way to do this, here is it tells you how to install it. So to install P3D V5.2, you must first uninstall the, P the previous v uh, the previous P3D V5.0.1 client through programs and features in Windows Control Panel. Do not deactivate your license when promoted. If you select to deactivate your license during uninstallation of your current client, you'll be promoted, prompted to uh, reactivate Prepare 3D. Um, so the way you want to do this is then head up to the download section up here by clicking Downloads. You're going to be met with your license ID and your license password. Now, this has been given to you on your email. I'm not going to show you the email because it has all like information on it, like addresses and that kind of stuff. But on the license, or if you go, to, if you go to your email, type in the search bar Lockheed Martin. It comes up with your um, order, uh, your invoice, and then you pop in the information given to you here. Press submit. Once you press submit, you'll be given this page. Now, this page is where you're going to download all of your well, the V5.2. As you can see down here, it says full download recommended. You want to click that. So download P3D V5 Academic. Now the size is 23.1 gigabytes. So press that. And as you can see, P3D V5 Academic is downloading. So what we could do is now, we wait for P3D V5 to um, finish downloading. And then I will show you the next bit of the steps on how to install v5.2 so p3 has just installed so the next step to do is the updating part which is like the most crucial bit i suppose um so when you go what you go what you want to go to is your start menu and press uninstall and as you can see here it says add or remove programs click that here we go search list prepare and then as you can see you get given your p3 d clients and content and scenery now there's two ways you can do this and it's entirely up to you what way you do it on the website it does say to uninstall the academic client and it doesn't talk about content or scenery now usually what I do I I, I uninstall academic client content and scenery I uninstall these three um, now I'm not sure if you actually meant well I know you can it doesn't affect anything the only problem is with uninstalling content and scenery, you have to install again all your, well, obviously your scenery, your aircraft, um, any add ons you got. You have to reinstall all of that. So, today, purposely just for this video, we're going to try, and purely just for my sakes, we're going to try to do what the website says, which is just to uninstall P3D V5 Academic Client. Now, if you want to do what I do, uninstall content, uninstall scenery, and I'll, I'll show you how to get that as well. But for now, we're just going to uninstall the Academic Client, which is what you have to do no matter what. So, you press uninstall here a few things are going to pop up give it a little moment and here it says would you like to deactivate your prepare 3d v5 academic installation to this you're going to say no
cool. And then, bam, just like that, it's gone. So what we want to do now is come over to your um, downloads, which is here. And as you can see, you installed P3D V5 Academic V2 point blah, blah, blah. Right click on that and press extract to P3, well, just press the extract button. If you don't have WinRAR, then just press extract as normal. Uh, make sure you extract it though. So click that and then get the extraction file. So once you've extracted the whole entire folder, obviously I've just extracted the client because that's all I'm doing. But I recommend for you, you do extract the whole thing. Once that is done, you're going to install the client. So press install client. Here we go. Next, I accept. Next, and then this should all be the same. If you changed your location, make sure you change this, but it should all be automatic. Click next and install. Wait for that to do its thing. Click yes, all the things that pop up, and then press finish. And apparently, it's as simple as that. Um, so, if you want to do the um, scenery and contents. Simple as once you've extracted the whole folder, like I said, um, you these would be these are the two you also need to install. So you'd press um, install, double click it. Obviously, you won't have an install like this, but it'll be in a folder here. Just press install content, install scenery, like I just done with the client, and you are all good to go. Um, but anyway, that is how you update Prepare 3D V5. If you look back here, it says it here P3 V5 Academic Client uh, 5.2. As you can see, this is on 5.1, so really I do recommend that you update the scenery and content as well. Um, unfortunately, it just take a little while to install everything. But uh, yeah, anyway, there we go. Right, I shall see you all in the next video. Um, I'll see you shortly.